Three, two, one. In honor of the movie coming out in mid-April, we are going to be making four different drinks for the main characters of Spy Family. If you've ever seen Spy Family, it is a really cute show that me and Hannah love about a family that is formed to complete a spy mission. Each member of the family is keeping secrets, but over time, they are slowly becoming a real and loving Family. Small disclaimer, there will be minor spoilers, but nothing that you want to see if you just looked up the show itself. And with that, let's begin with the one who started this family, Anya. Anya is the daughter, a cute pink haired girl with incredibly funny expressions and a hilarious inner monologue, and she can read minds. She's a child, so we're going to make a non-alcoholic drink. This drink is going to be built right in the glass. First things first, we're going to put an ounce to an ounce and a half of the strawberry lemon syrup that Hannah made link in the description down below as well as all of the recipes for these drinks to our syrup we're going to add six ounces of a strongly brewed green tea that we have let cool to this we're going to add a little bit of ice give this a nice mix to incorporate it all and then we're going to add our cream cheese float on top that we made by whipping together cream cheese sugar heavy cream and milk this idea was inspired by boba tea look at that and to finish Anya's drink off, we are going to sprinkle the top with freeze dried strawberries. With Anya's pink hair, we immediately thought of strawberries and cream. And there you have it, Anya's strawberry and cream green tea. Let's add a straw and try this out. It's so pretty. I'm not a huge fan of green tea, but that's good. Isn't it? Yeah, that's good. It's so good. The tea itself is so refreshing and like perfectly sweet. Yeah, it really is. The syrup you made is incredibly good. But you can really personalize the amount of sweetness with however much syrup you want, which is great. Completely change color. That's so good. That's, it's so, it's super straw. I mean, obviously it's super strawberry. Mm -hmm. The cream is really good. The texture is great. Yeah. It's like a light strawberry cheesecake. It really is. Anya would love that. She would. Anya would love that. She would drink four of them when Lloyd wasn't looking and then pass out. Probably. <laughs> you like it? I love it. It's so good. It's great. Good job it's... on the syrup. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now on to the fluffiest member of the Forger family, Bond. Bond is the family dog that they rescued from evil government experiments. And he uses his visions of the future to keep the family safe. Bond is a big fluffy white dog with black Pause. So we immediately thought about a white Russian and having a play on a white Russian. So that's what we're going to be doing. Just like any white Russian, we're going to build it in the glass. Anya's favorite dog is Bond and Anya's favorite snack are peanuts. So what better than using a peanut butter whiskey for this white Russian? We're going to add two ounces of peanut butter whiskey. Uh, it's nice. To this, we're going to add one ounce of chocolate coffee liqueur. Oh my gosh, it's thick. We're gonna give this a good mix so we get the color we want. And lastly, we're gonna add two ounces of heavy cream. You can use milk, really depends on how heavy or light you want it. And here we have Bond's PBC Astanian, because the country that the show takes place in is Astania. Let's mix this guy up. The layering is awesome. It's perfect, yeah. And it's it really is perfect because of the way Bond's body just gradually became white <laughs> yeah. to black. We tried this with lactose-free milk, and that works as well if you don't want it as thick. Try it. It's all you. Mm. Oh, damn. Good? Mm -hmm. You know what the top reminds me of? The top looks like uh, the butterbeer topping. It does. It does. It tastes like a milkshake. I had it off the spoon a little bit. <laughs> it tastes really good. Very thick. Very thick. You, Honestly, I think I liked it better when we did it with milk. I think so too. This is extremely good. It's extremely thick. It's definitely a dessert cocktail, 110%. Absolutely. If you want it to be a little lighter, I would use milk, like she said, or a lactose-free milk versus two ounces of heavy cream. Or even like half and half, but if you like it thicker than a schnicker, go with cream. <laughs> this is very tasty. I think Bond would be proud of it. I think Bond would be proud of it. Now we're going to move on to Yor, the mother of the family. She's just trying her best to be the best mom and wife that she can be while keeping up with her job at City Hall and being a secret assassin codenamed Thorn Princess. So to start it, we made a very viscous grenadine that we're going to rim down the side of the glass that represents the blood of her enemies. <laughs> All right, now we're going to set this aside, let the blood drip, and the rest of our drink will be built 
and a mixing glass. First things first, we're using a Japanese gin, Roku. Figured it was only fitting. Also, Roku's delicious. We're gonna go with two ounces. Next, we're gonna add half an ounce of Saint Germain elderflower liqueur, half an ounce of simple syrup, and lastly, we're gonna add one bar spoon of rose water. Yours character has a lot of references to flowers and roses, so that's why this drink is very floral. Next, fill our mixing glass with ice. Give this a solid mix. Now that we have our bloody glass, we're just gonna strain it right in. And lastly, we're gonna top it with tonic water. And there you have it, the bloody briar for the thorn princess. Briar is also her maiden name, that's why we that's why we named it like that. You wanna come try it? All right. That looks fantastic. Looks a little morbid. Oh, that's delicious. Obviously, extremely floral. But not in a, oh, I'm a... drinking perfume way. Yeah. In like a sweet spring day. Yeah, exactly, way. yeah. That's delicious. This is delicious. It really is. Dang. The grenadine is more for looks than flavor, yeah. but you can also mix it in and it would be very good in this as well. Instead of tonic water, you could do champagne with this and it would also be delicious. It wouldn't be as clear, uh, but it would still be extremely good. This is really good. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah. The Roku Gin is definitely the way to go. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. This drink is perfect for those of us who love a gin and tonic. It's delicious. It really is. The rose water is actually, you have to add the rose water as well. Absolutely. Just a little bit goes a long way. Don't add too much. So lastly, we have Lloyd, the father of the Forger household. Anya calls him Papa, but his spy code name is Twilight. He is a master of disguise and a workaholic, and we knew for Lloyd we needed a simple, unassuming drink. So during the research and development of this episode, we kept coming back to bombs because there's a lot of bombs that Lloyd has to deal with in the show. So we decided a sake bomb was perfect. And it's one of the easiest drinks ever. All you're going to need for this drink is a pint glass, a shot glass, and two chopsticks. You're going to fill your pint glass up with about six to eight ounces of a Japanese lager. In our case, we're using Kirin Ichiban. Next, you'll need your sake. We're gonna be using Hero Blue, a little stitch. And you're gonna fill your shot glass up. And now, we're gonna take our two chopsticks, we're gonna lay them on the top of the pint glass, and we're going to balance our shot on top of the chopsticks like so. And there you have it, a sake bomb, or as we're gonna call it, Lloyd's bombed mission. To drink a sake bomb, you're going to hit the table right next to your pint glass. The shot glass will lose its balance, fall in, and as soon as it falls in, you grab and chuck it. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh my God! It went all over the table. It oh. did. <laughs> Lloyd's bomb mission. <laughs> Our bombed mission too. Must have ended up on the table. That was fun. It really just tasted like the beer. The sake itself, I didn't really no, I get didn't a really lot from it. it. Ooh, it smells good. It smells very light. I think this is a perfect sake for like this sake is advertised or marketed as a like a mixing sake to use in cocktails. And I think it would be perfect for that. It is very clean tasting. It doesn't have a lot of character on its own. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you had as much fun as we did coming up with these drinks. If you're going to build the drinks or if you watched Spy Family before, please leave a comment down below. We would love to hear from you. And if you plan on watching Spy Family now, let us know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more bartending and butchery content. And until next time, goodbye. Another. I'm nervous. Bombs freak me out. I'm always afraid that the shot glass is gonna shatter. You're gonna win. Oh yeah, I'm gonna win. <laughs> the speed at which he could chug beer in college. For someone who doesn't like beer, absolutely disrespectful. Are you nervous? I am nervous. I'm also nervous that it's gonna like fall onto the table instead of into That's the what I was also thinking. That's why I tried to put it on like the- The, the edges? Yeah, edges. that makes sense.